The Progress Report. Hey, it's your girl Clarissa the Glow Shields, and shout out to Progress Report. Yeah, yeah. It's your girl Lala Shepard, The Progress Support. First and foremost, thank you for doing this. I think this is so amazing. Salute to my girl, Queen. Um, first, I want to ask you, talk about females dominating in sports and music. How does that make you feel? Well, one, I believe that this is the years of the women. Like, to see what the WNBA is doing and see what I've been doing in boxing and yeah. see what soccer did. Yeah. You know, I think that women's sports are definitely getting their just due, and we're on an up and up, and we're getting closer to equality. We just have to keep working and have to bring some generations behind us. A hundred percent. I want to know who are some athletes that you, you know, like to look at outside of boxing and also to who are you listening to musically? <laughs> Besides yourself. Nah, I don't listen to myself a whole lot. I got a bunch of better artists than me for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano. Yeah. And then outside of the ring, like, I'm not a person to look up to a whole bunch of different athletes, but I feel like Beyonce is an athlete. I'm Amen. Sorry. I feel like she's an athlete. Amen. She's great at her craft. She's like the greatest woman of all time in her craft. She sings. She dance. She rap. She do, she do country music now. I mean, yeah. like, she is, like, the best ever to me. So Beyonce is a huge, huge inspiration. Can never get, forget about Serena Williams. She mm. definitely played a huge part in my upbringing. I was alongside Simone Biles 2016 Olympics and when I tell you like this girl has an unstoppable spirit mm. like myself I feel like I found a sister in her and me and her still you know go back and forth now and you know keep in contact I love that I love that um, and I want you to talk about you know originally I know your dad he introduced you to boxing but he didn't want you to pursue it you know because of the gender yeah. um, so how proud is he now just fast forward and how proud is your family of you my dad is probably the happiest dad in the world, and he'll <laughs> yeah. tell you that $60 that he spent to sign me up for boxing, he always say, it, it was nothing compared to what I've done. So my dad is super uh, proud of me, super happy. Okay. And um, what was the second part of your question? Just how proud is your family of you? Oh, everybody in my family loves that I box. I mean, my mom, my dad, my nieces, my nephews. My niece know how to box. My little nephew, Bradford, I've been teaching him how to box. My nephew Jim and I know how to box. I have trained over a thousand or 1,500 kids in Flint and taught them boxing um, skills to help them get through uh, depression. And I have been like a, I have been a therapist to a, a lot of kids yeah. who have been through trials and tribulations because we don't get therapists in the black community enough. We don't have counselors like, and, and we deal with a lot like, right. nobody talks about how like, okay, you're growing up and your mom abuses alcohol, so your brother takes care of you. So then your brother gets killed. Yeah. It's like, there is nobody to, to help you get through that. You kind of be angry and sad and then you want to go through life making everybody else feel how you feel. You know, seeing what, seeing what their coping is for them because everybody coping is different. Like, you know, I come to the gym and I spar, I feel great after and I feel relieved. If you was to come here and you was to spar, and people was to punch on you, you 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 will probably leave more angry than what you came. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so everybody has a different coping method. And for me, I found that my coping is boxing, uh, music, mm -hmm. writing. We go and get a big, yeah, big piece. <laughs> For sure, that's hard. Um, I gotta commend you on that walkout with Cash Doll last year. That was epic. I mean, the energy, it, the energy was so crazy. I know you say in two days you're gonna announce who is walking you out this year, but I mean, how you gonna top that energy? <laughs> We're still gonna have the heat, you know. Um, but it'd be up to everybody else to decide whether this walkout is just as big as it was with Cash Doll. But this person that's walking me out is like. I don't yeah. doubt it. I don't doubt it. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely coming out with the heat. But what I what I can say is that it will be a drum line there. The Pistons drum line. Um, That's hard. Called me, said, hey, you wanna be, we want to we, we be a part of your walkout. And they'll be drum lining me mm -hmm. a, a song. And then I'll have the artist perform me out. But I will announce it in, in two days. Okay, cool. I got one last question for you. Um, our keyword at the Progress Support is progress. You're a progressive person. So what does our keyword progress mean to you? I mean, progress to me is just not standing still. It's a lot of people in life that's running in place. 
okay. and they think that they getting somewhere and I and I'm not gonna lie I hate them kind of people and that's like the people on social media like they feel like if they got a whole bunch of followers but they're not making no money but they can just oh I got a bunch of followers mm. if they get in somewhere or they're not helping nobody or they're not actually going to the next level in their life and they're like they're just running in place yeah but I feel like a little bit of progress progress is, is, is better than no progress to me hey Make sure y'all get y'all tickets on Ticketmaster and watch me live on the zone. The Progress Report.